Let's now look at business to business marketing specifics. The customer needs Business to business marketing has several variants as well as approaches to combat competition. Number 1. Existing Product Competitive Product or S Comparative Assessment. Number 2. Best Fit as per the customer requirement. Number 3. Assessment of modification needs if any. Number 4. Redesign the product, test it with the customer's requirements. Number 5. Give samples for trials with the customers. Number 6. Get the customer's feedback and act on it. Number 7. Get a long-range business perspective for the product. Business to business market advantage. Customer satisfaction. Customer relationship management. Providing options to the customers. Add value to the product. Promote supplies or just-in-time supplies if required. Overselling. In the business to business marketing, salespersons tend to oversell the company. The promise options product specifications and terms of business that cannot be sustained by the company. The salesperson tells the customer, we can offer a diesel model of the car in the next two weeks, when the company has no plan to make the diesel model. The customer gets the option of a mobile phone with a camera and a Bluetooth when the company can give only with the camera. A customer is told he need not pay a down payment for the product and give only in installments when the company rules do not permit such credit at all. A customer buying an air conditioning plant is given commissioning date of the plant when the company knows fully well that it would not be possible to adhere to that date. It is always prudent to offer less and deliver more. This way the customer would feel delighted and look forward to doing further business with the company. Let's take a look at a different approach to B2B marketing. Consumer marketing and industrial marketing differ in several ways. An industrial buyer looks for benefits that accrue from product usage, whereas a consumer buyer wants good value for money. Industrial buyers see the following benefits. Low overall purchase cost, ease of storage, easy inventory management, ease of product usage, training the seller in product usage, longer shelf life of the product, GIT supplies by the supplier. B2B advertising. B2B advertising is important mainly for creating an awareness about the company, improving its corporate brand image and for providing products technical specifications. The companies can opt for technical journals pertaining to the buyer's business as media. Besides, at times newspapers and TV can also be used. Business to business pricing. Pricing. Now the pricing strategy is the foremost important one because in the competitive business, buyers prefer the low cost supplier, everything else being common. The hidden costs could be as given below. Cost of certain spare parts essential to the product. Cost of accessories required. Cost of transportation. Cost of installation and commissioning of the equipment of the product. Cost of user manuals and other documents. Cost of training of the buyer personnel into proper usage of product. Pricing formula. The companies must work out a pricing formula individually for each bid that they make because each case is different. Customer's location and its distance from the seller's place to work out the actual transport cost to the customer. Cost of mobilization of resources including manpower at the customer's site. Cost of pipelines, ducting, power needs, water supply required and local labour force costs. Cost of taxes to be paid in the customer's location. For example, CST of the customer's premises are in different state than the seller's location. Now, let's look at the purchase committee. Managing director is the one who chairs the committee. Then you have a technical manager who looks at the technical aspects of the bids. Finance manager who scrutinizes the financial implications of the bids. An R&D manager who decides if the product is latest state-of-the-art product or not. Production manager who looks at the product from the point of its match with the rest of the existing equipment and its case of use. Purchase manager who is the convener of the committee. Market demand. Demand of the B2B business is generated in the most unpredictable manner and hence the demand analysis by the sellers is a difficult task. 
It is therefore important to find out where the market exists. One should seek answers to the below questions. Who wants the product? When does he want it? Where does he want it? What price is he willing to pay for it? What is the purpose for which he is buying the product? What does the product do for him in his life? What are the factors influencing the purchase? Who is the competitor? What are his plans? For each firm, there are following categories of customers. The buyers, the non-buyers who buy competitive products, the non-buyers who do not buy the product at all, the non-buyers who buy the product only rarely, the vacillators who keep shifting purchase between the firm and competition. Knowing about various elements of business, own products, their plus and minus points, the competitor's products, their plus and minus points, niche markets and its business potential, relevant customer group, the buyers, the users and the purchase decision makers, market dynamics. Here are the marketing goals, achievement, channels. Customers, mindsets or socio-economic considerations. Number 1. Personal selling. Number 2. Advertising. Number 3. Pricing. Number 4. Distribution Channels Number 5. Promotion Number 6. Competition Number 7. Packaging Marketing Situation How does advertising work? Advertising works on many levels. On eyes and ears for receiving the message. On the mindset for understanding the message. On the heart where feelings create the goodwill and proper response. For the eyes and ears did the advertisement reach? Did it catch the customer's attention? Did it bring in the top-of-the-mind recall? For the mindset, was the advertisement understood in a way it was meant to be understood? Did the customer get the message? Was the message and the brand read together? Was the message not clear? For the heart, was the product accepted by the customer? Did it change the customer's attitude about the brand in its favour? Did the feelings change after seeing the advertisement? Did the brand perception change? Did it change the perception of competing brands against them? Did the purchase action take place? Let's look at advertising plus and minus points. First the plus points. Economic growth helps develop competition. New product market development. Competition keeps firms on their toes helps in marketing effort, increases market chances, provides information to the customers, ensures quality of the product, increases demand. Let's look at the minus points. Expenditure can be avoided, creates competition on items other than price like brand equity, creates entry barriers for competition can equate business possibilities, can raise costs and prices, wrong information to customers, Puffery 